Hello, hello, hello. So the World Chess Cup 2021 has begun in Sochi. As many as 12 Indian players are playing in the event and they had a fantastic round one, don't you think so? We had a tough time picking the best game of the first round from the Indian perspective, but we have chosen it. It is the game between P. Indian, the 17-year-old Grandmaster from Tamil Nadu, who won the AICO World Cup qualifiers and booked his place in the FIDE World Cup, against Sebastian Bogner, who is a German-Swiss Grandmaster of with a rating of 2181 he was in fact the higher ranked player in this matchup and Indian did cause a mini upset in his very first world cup very first game of his very first world cup so let's have a look um Indian played d4 in the uh, from the white side and sebastian played slav defense knight of three knight of six knight c3 a6 so it's the chebanic go slav the idea is to play b5 so a4 preventing any b5 ideas e6 bishop g5 bishop e7 e3 short castle e3 h6 bishop h4 short castle bishop d3 abhi white short castle karenge or fir e4 ki tayari karenge so black ne dc4 mar diya and bishop c4 ke baad khud center mein break liya with c5 and now in if white takes c5 uh, the c5 pawn then it will be a very very equal end game so white played short castle ed cd and decided to go for the isolated queen pawn position which gives white a lot of attacking ideas let's see how indian played the middle game from here which is a great example of how to handle an isolated queen pawn position knight c6 rook e1 attacking the e6 point as well as keeping an eye on the e7 bishop so that you after you get d5 at some point the e7 bishop also starts to feel very vulnerable bishop d7 queen d2 rook c n and rook d1 all of white species have been developed they are in the center the rooks are in very very good files open or semi-open files as we call them the queen is well placed bishops are well placed bishop is doing really great on this diagonal in fact so black feels the need to do something he plays knight b4 with the idea to play knight d5 and of course to pick up the bishop c4 if white allows it so white defended it with knight e5 but it is not a defensive move it is a multi-purpose move in fact a very active one because it also attacks the weak vulnerable point on f7 and makes e6 even weaker we will see how bishop c6 played and now brilliant move by white maybe you can pause the video and find it for yourself knight to g6 what a nice move what a nice move to play black has to take on g6 and after bishop e6 he uh, has he loses one rook and a pawn to a bishop and knight usually this is sufficient compensation but because of the overwhelming active position of white species and the control of the center and the weakness of the black king this actually this trade off actually turns it is in white exchange uh, turns out to be in white's favor sorry for my fumble there rook f7 and now white need not take on f7 by the way a move like king h7 would not work here because of bishop c8 queen c8 and rook e7 white turns out to be an exchange up so rook f7 was forced and instead of taking on f7 directly white pushes d5 first uh, making further progress knight of d5 would be an epic blunder because of bishop f7 king f7 bishop e7 knight e7 and queen into d8 and now we see how useful our rook on d1 turns out to be so this line would have been in white's favor black instead replied with bishop d7 so white took bishop f7 king f7 and now one more pawn push d6 the pawn has already reached the sixth rank bishop f8 is forced and white took on f6 here guys small tactic time what happens for a move like queen f6 please let us know in the comments if you found the answer 
So bishop f6, g into f6 was taken and now another powerful move, knight d5 eliminating the b4 knight. After knight into d5, queen into d5, the queen jumps in, king g7 and queen b7. Now we see that the position has cleared out. White has picked up another pawn for the material that he has given up. So he has a rook and two pawns for a pair of bishops usually this should be anyway all right for white but white has the added advantage of having a very strong pass pawn on d6 the d6 pawn also enables his attack because it controls black's pieces from becoming very active and enables white to play ideas like rook e7 himself then the main the main crux of the position is the weak and vulnerable king on g7 as opposed to the very safe king on g1 this is the main point uh, why black is actually really suffering in this position so if the queens were off this would have been an okay position for black and he could have defended but right now with the queens on the board this is very very hard to defend Let's see how Indian managed to keep his advantage and put pressure on black even more. Black played rook c6 supporting the a6 pawn and h4. With the idea to play h5 create more weaknesses on the king. Queen c8 we don't want to allow the queen exchange so queen a7, king g8 and queen e3 back. The queen was doing not much on the 7th rank. We need her in attacking black's weak pawns so queen b7 on the board and here queen e4 king g7 and pawn to h5 but black had a very nice resource here bishop f5 and maybe for this reason it would have been more prudent to change the move order slightly tweak it and play h5 first so that after g5 you now have queen e4 and there is no bishop f5 coming in this would have been a slight improvement but Indian also found a very nice way to continue the game. He played h5, bishop f5, and he plays queen f3, keeping the bishop on f5 attack. Queen d7, h into g6, bishop into d6, and now again, time to pause the video and think for yourself maybe why decide to double on the d file and maybe even triple and pick up the d6 bishop. So, this is. Um, a very very simple but powerful idea hard to face black white is simply threatening queen d5 on the next move so black needs to move his queen and he had exactly one move to save his game for the time being queen e6 would have been the best move in the position controlling the e-file keeping the queen near the king and with the point being that queen c6 is impossible because of a nice tactic here can you guys spot it please right in the comments maybe so queen c6 was not possible and that's why queen e6 was a great move to be played but he played queen c7 instead but the queen on c7 is actually very vulnerable because after rook d7 check at any point the queen would also be attacked and for this reason this position is already great for white and after b4 he's also threatening b5 uh, provoking the rook into further path passivity h5 played and white again one strong move after the other queen e3 with the idea to play queen d2 tripling on the d5 alakhan battery coming in rook c3 but now it's already over after queen e6 rook d6 coming in bishop h2 was forced king h1 rook d7 was threatened so black plays queen e5 rook d7 check anyway king h6 and queen to g8 king on h6 feels so lonely but it was the 40th move and black played bishop e4 on reflex and after queen g7 it was a beautiful end to a perfectly played game by b indian fantastic game by indian in the first round of his very first world cup thank you so much for watching this video guys and let us know in the comments what you liked about it if you liked some other game maybe or if you want us to improve anything any suggestions would be always welcome bye bye let's support all our players wholeheartedly thank you for watching